The mother and brother of a late Pakistani Christian minister who was murdered because of his faith met with Pope Francis. The son of 87-year-old Martha, Shabazz Bhatti, was killed in his native country, where as a Catholic he was part of the minority. Now his family is making sure his legacy lives on. The Pope was very touched and moved. He closed his eyes, held my mom's hand tightly and hugged her. That speaks volumes. His brother, Shabazz, was Pakistan's minister of minorities. He strongly opposed the country's blasphemy law, which criminalizes critiques against Islam. In many cases, this law is used to wrongfully accuse people, and it's often used as a tool for personal vendettas against Christians and other minorities. Shabazz was killed in 2011 by Muslim extremists. With religious persecution on the rise, Bati, who held his brother's government post after he was assassinated, says the current violence in Iraq, Pakistan and other parts of the world is much more complicated than what it seems. What's going on in Iraq and Pakistan and other parts of the world is not solely based on religion. They are terrorists who are using religion as a tool to reach their personal goals. In Pakistan, I've met good Muslims who have supported me as minister. At the same time, he fears that radicalized Muslims will turn Pakistan into another Iraq, where persecution and lawlessness seems to have taken over. That is a possibility, because you're dealing with Muslim terrorists who are also attacking other Muslim minorities. First, we have to identify what is triggering this violence, discrimination and division, and why people are ultimately being killed. And to prevent hatred, he says education and interreligious dialogue are key, especially in younger generations. When children are raised under a radical ideology and they grow up with suicide bombers, they too become victims of violence. We must help these children. Bati says he and his family still face threats by extremists, so much so that he's been forced to live between Pakistan and Europe. He says he doesn't feel a sense of revenge over the murder of his brother. Instead, he says he wants to devote his time helping those who cannot defend themselves, just like his brother Shabazz did before he was killed.